Uh, the stirring uh, machine, machine work faultlessly, faultlessly? Uh, no problem whatsoever. There's definitely uh, an increase in the speed of drying with the stirring device. We were very pleased with it. We figured the bank could pay for itself in less than four years. It, it speeds up the drying process with the stirring machine. In it. We had high test weight corn last year, but our corn sample's never been better. Real satisfied, yeah. With the bin, with the stirs, with the service. Um, if I had to do it again, I probably would. You have to look at the entire system because we're drying at a much lower temperature. We, in fact, think that we're improving the quality of grain. Yeah, I'd, uh, I'd do it all over again. I think Sue Cup's got a, a great line of uh, grain handling equipment. Here at Sukup Manufacturing, we don't think of exceptional quality and top-notch customer service as a goal. We think of it as a way of doing business. Now in our 40th year, we can reflect on our success and take pride in our many accomplishments. We also know, however, that customer satisfaction is a daily task that must be achieved. There is no substitute for a happy customer and we work hard to make sure that each opportunity is handled with the attention it deserves. We went with the Sioux Cup equipment just because of the reputation it's had and because of our dealer. Real dependable. We haven't had any problems with any of the equipment and uh, everything works great. When you look at the origin of Sioux Cup manufacturing, you have to start with the idea of stirring grain. When Eugene Sukup first climbed into a grain bin with his auger and drill in hand, it was the fall of 1962. There's no way he could have known back then what a tremendous impact his idea would have on grain drying and the products farmers would eventually use to handle and condition their harvested crops. While the idea seemed simple enough to Eugene, the challenge was to come up with a machine that was a little more convenient something automated that would stir the grain throughout the entire bin without having to get inside. The birth of the Sukup Stirway established Sukup Manufacturing as a new player in the grain handling and drying business. Their product line has now grown to include everything from grain bins to automatic dryers and of course the most reliable and trouble-free stirring device available anywhere. The efficient faster stirring pattern combines continuous forward movement of the down auger with an in and out movement on the cross tube to provide a complete stirring motion throughout the bin. Stirring mixes the grain located at the bottom of the bin with the wetter grain at the top. University tests have shown less than 1% moisture variation from top to bottom in the stirred grain. When we started testing the grain in the bin, when we started to empty the bin out, there was less than a half a percentage point from top to bottom of the bin. It stayed very consistent. There's definitely uh, an increase in the speed of drying with the stirring devices, and I feel that by blending the grain together with the stirring devices, you get a more consistent quality. We hauled our first 25 loads out in December and January, and they're, out of those 25 loads, I hauled them myself. We didn't have a moisture variation of uh, about four tenths of a point on 25 semi loads. So. I feel it's very important. It keeps the, the grain loose and keeps the, the level of the pile very uniform for, for more consistent drying. Uh, I think it speeded up the drying probably 50% over not having a stirring machine at all. Because stirring loosens the grain, it reduces static pressure and increases airflow. This allows drying to take place more quickly and efficiently. Iowa State University tests have found that using a stirring machine in wet grain with a powered spreader, airflow can be increased by as much as 33%. Stirring extends the storage life of your grain and it eliminates hot spots that damage grain in systems where stirring machines are not used. There are a number of reasons to choose a Sukup stirring machine over the competition. Sukup is the only company that offers a kit for easily adding more stirring augers at a later time if additional drying capacity is needed. Sukup uses only heavy-duty gear motors for greater reliability. 
Our patented rotating contact is heated to keep it dry in high moisture situations. Sukup offers single or three phase motors that are totally enclosed, fan cooled, and protected by a thermal overload. The mercury switch on each auger controls forward movement for trouble free operation. Our stirring machine track mounts high in the bin, giving up to 680 bushels of extra storage in a 36 foot diameter bin. We use constant pitch down augers with a special hard faced flighting applied for long life. Constant pitch augers fill only at the bottom where the driest grain is located. Other companies use variable pitch down augers that pick up small amounts of grain all along their length. It uh, moves the grain uh, up and downward in a way that there's no hot spots in the grain, there's uniform drying. It's constantly being moved. You're taking stuff from the bottom that's getting the heat and it's bringing it back up towards the top, so it's constantly stirring everything around. So I think it lets the air through. You can stand up on the top and it, you can see that the chaff's uh, coming off the top of the grain and it, it helps to uh, bring the moisture out of the top. These pictures clearly show how much more grain is moved using constant pitch augers instead of variable pitch augers. Sukup augers can be used to stir a number of different types of grain, from corn to sunflowers. The patented mechanical reversing drive on the faster is the only one of its kind, making it the simplest and most dependable stirring machine on the market. This patented drive mechanism is operated by a single drive wheel that stays in contact with the cross tube. The movement of a lever by the reversing plate changes the angle of the wheel to move the carriage in and out on the tube. This simple process eliminates electric reversing switches, drive gear boxes, chains, and cables. One primary carriage may be used to travel the entire length of the cross tube in smaller bins. A satellite carriage may be linked to the primary carriage for larger bins. Each carriage on two auger units travels about half the length of the tube. Up to three satellite carriages may be linked to the primary carriage for high capacity stirring applications. The satellite carriages on multiple auger units are positioned closer together to stir the larger volume of grain in the outer portion of the bin. We want to give you the most stirring machine for your money, so we've added a lot of extra features that make the faster the best and most flexible unit on the market. We use a heavy duty four and a half inch cross tube on machines under 40 feet in length and we increase it to five and a half inches for added strength on stirring machines that are 40 feet or larger. In an effort to break up the concentration of fines over the center sump, we use an offset hanger that allows the stirring augers to travel all the way to the center of the bin. We also use an angled shield that allows the outside carriage to stir the grain close to the wall. There are also no zerks to grease on the faster. The faster plus has all the features of our standard faster, but we've added a stationary auger to stir the grain around the outside of the bin close to the wall. It's important to stir this large portion of grain to keep condensation on the wall from causing spoilage. In addition to the stationary auger, we always recommend soak up airway tubes to keep the surface of the wall clean and dry. The biggest percentage of your grain is on the outside four foot of your wall. And uh, when past, we have had some problems with condensation where the grain would stick to the wall, but uh, that's not a problem anymore. I've been stirring grain probably for about uh, 30 years. Have had as many as five or six stirring machines at one time. I've always had Sukup, always had Sukup, and uh, they've always done a good job for me. We've had a uh, good experience with the company, and they provided us with quality materials, and uh, the local dealers worked with us real well, and we've just been real satisfied with all their equipment. The drying time was cut down. The convenience of the bend here was well, as a lifesaver, it would have taken us probably six weeks to dry our corn down last year compared to a total of 10 days. So 
so we invested the money and it's probably the best spent money we had here in the past three years on the farm. The trucking cost to truck it someplace else and get it dried and bring it back, I says, uh, any profit you did make by by doing it, you ate it up in trucking, basically. I mean, it, also uh, to store the grain on the farm and be able to sell it later on in the year for a higher price or or to use it ourselves for our own use for that matter. And at harvest time, I simply don't have the time to be trucking grain to an elevator and waiting in line, things like that. And also, there's some price advantages to storing grain and then selling uh, during the summer months. A lot of times at harvest, uh, the price is pretty darn low, or if you sit on it maybe for four or five months, the price is uh, quite a bit higher. And it's just more convenient to do it than with the other type of a dryer. My father and I started drying grain back in the early 60s and we put up one of the first grain bins in the area and had one of the first sukup stirring devices and, and uh, unloading systems in that and part of that is still in operation yet today. Uh, we've had very good luck with the equipment and uh, have been real pleased with the reliability. My grain is in better condition, I can hold it longer. I used to have to get in the bin every month to check it. Now I don't really worry about it as much.